Professor Pineco here, and as you see on the screen, that's a shiny Whalmer. This will be my second shiny Whalmer, completing the line, and this is in my Omega Ruby badge quest, or sorry, badge quest, shiny route quest. So I am super, super excited to have this this beautiful Pokemon appear. Um, I caught it on the right route this time. Um, I caught it on, or I am on Route 122, which is where I was uh, planning on catching a Whalmer. So, well, I know. I know I actually have to catch it still, but I, like, yay! I'm getting through these water routes pretty efficiently. Uh, the next, like, six uh, encounters I have to do are all, like, Dex Nav water and... Um, and cave roots, so they're they're going to be a little frustrating. So I think what I am going to do is continue on with the story, uh, record the next video for uh, the the next gym that's coming up, and do that. Um, some of the uh, hunts that I want to do are actually post Grudon because I'd like those Dex Nav encounters to show up. So. Um, I'm really, really happy to have completed this line, and what I am going to do is I am going to level it up to level 40, which is the level that it evolves at, or at least I think it's the level it evolves at. Watch, I'll end up being wrong because I said that. And I'm going to include the evolution of uh, this beautiful purple whale uh, into Whale Lord because I think that that would be a, a super interesting thing to show you guys, um, and I... I don't want two exactly the same whale, whale videos, especially because I wasn't able to get um, them live. So I'm just, um, I, I'm not always able to get everything live. And, and it's all right that the last three videos haven't been because I've done a really great job from streaming every single week, getting getting the majority of the Pokemon live and being able to share share the experience with you. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad this, this uh, this is the last fishing hunt that I get to do, and I'm really glad that it was so quick. And now I'm going to go level it up. So I, I am going to check and see if I have any uh, rare candies, and I am going to use some rare candies to do it. Unfortunately, I did catch the one that's at level 30, even though I could have fished one at level 40. Um, but that's that's no big deal at all. I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, fly over to this city because this is where I will need to do the gym and I think what I'm going to do is kind of combine this in the gym video I think that would be the smartest way to do it uh, I do have a lot of my lights on like not like normal because uh, uh, Tod toddler Pineco, as I've, I've dubbed Clara, um, is sitting and watching Dora so hopefully we get through this whole video without a little baby asking for help so this was my first Whalmer, uh, which was caught uh, uh, the day before, which was a relaxed nature. And this one is quirky, and they actually do have two different abilities. So that is neat. Um, but otherwise, they're, they're pretty much the same. It looks like the quirky one is a slightly better Whalmer. So let's, uh, let's choose, just choose the Whalmer we just caught to level up. Uh, into a whale lord. So as I said, I'm just gonna quickly check to see if I have any rare candies, maybe to make this process go a little bit faster. Um, and I do have four rare candies, so I am definitely going to like that. That's not enough for me to actually use them. Uh, maybe on the last, we'll see. Uh, we'll give this uh, we'll give this whalemer a lucky egg, and uh, we will make sure. Sorry, make sure our team is all ready to take on the uh, next gym leader. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and just use uh, uh, Castell and Rover because they are two dark Pokemon, and and you know what? I'm I'm all right doing that. I just I just want this to go smoothly. Uh, as as I as I decided when I started deck snapping and, um, and gaining all these levels, this is kind of just what's going to happen. So I'm pretty sure I can take on the psychic gym right away. So how's how's it going, psychic type? Yay! It's amazing. Everything's awesome. So let's uh, do this weird hover thing, and let's get our let's get our whalemer to evolve. That'll be that'll be fun. So he's going to come out, obviously. We're going to get to see lots and lots of sparkles of this, or she, uh, Whalmer. I always call Whalmer Wham a boy, and I ended up with two girls, which is great because they're both so purple. Um, 
So obviously our little Wilmer is not going to be able to take this on, but we're just going to put Castiel out and uh, get some get some experience for our big purple ball. And this is also good that I have a Wilmer um, because I'm going to need one anyway to uh, unlock the Reggies in this game, which I mean I might as well go for all of the uh, all all the shiny. Uh, all the shiny Reggies in this game too. Um, I will be putting a shiny charm in this game. I have said that uh, before and I definitely will wait until my route crust is done. So I've got a lot of kind of stressful stressful things ahead of me. So that uh, that is definitely something to keep in mind. One thing I would like to do is pop my amulet coin. Hopefully I have it on me on my Castell because I wouldn't want to... Oh, I'm just going to... I wouldn't want to lose out on uh, um, money um, because I definitely need money in this game. So let's see. Oh no, he's on. It's on somebody else. That really sucks. Okay. Well, I'm not going to make you guys. Uh, um, I'm not going to make you guys wait for me to do that. That just seems a little bit silly. So I believe I just go like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do. So I'm pretty sure I know, I remember how to get through this gym pretty efficiently. Um, now, it's funny, I've only actually played through this game once, but I'm I, I'm finding it pretty easy to to get through, um, to get through these, these, uh, these gyms. So, well, instead of focusing on money in this gym, we'll focus on experience. We'll focus on getting that Whalmer up. So I do have another DS on, and I have used experience power plus plus plus. Um, I always say plus 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 because that's just kind of what I think of it as. I noticed that I did that in another video and I thought people must think that's weird, but in black two and white two it was it was like plus and then plus and then plus. <laughs> so even though it's level three, I, I still find myself saying plus plus plus. Uh, I definitely spent an awful lot of time playing uh, black two and it was just uh, a game that I'm doing. So uh, as I said, I'm hoping I'm hoping I get through this, but if I end up uh, l uh, popping or speeding up a little bit of the video, then we'll definitely know. So there we go. That's one. That's one level. So it's going to be a little bit of a longer gym battle. Um, and I might speed it up. I'm I'm not sure. It depends how much I ra ramble. So you'll know if, if uh, our music comes on and <laughs> and I stop talking that I've I've decided I'm rambling a bit too much. So this is this is the uh, the craziest thing I've done and I actually um mentioned in my graphic video that has no audio cuz you know, Pineco, um that I'm going to be uh I I think I'm going to do a shiny route quest in my Y game next cuz I'm I've had such a fun time with this one. Um it's just I'm not really looking forward to getting a starter in that game uh, as as everyone knows it's it's quite a long soft reset and uh i'm just i'm not sure if i'm up to the challenge let's say so that that's something we definitely definitely have to look at i also need a second name for these wilmers just uh as a side note for anybody watching going why aren't why aren't they named why aren't those pretty pretty purple balls named all the balls must be named um, so yeah, it's, it's very interesting. I, if I did another, another playthrough of why my first one, I got a shiny chest pin. Um, and I think I would do that again. I think I'd go for chest pin again. I really like chest pin as a shiny. Um, and I know that I can, uh, continuously get, uh, I, I know I can continuously get, um, uh, the middle evolutions, but the first evolutions I either have to breed for, or, um, or I have to, uh, or I have to actually uh, soft reset for. And the, it's really between Chespin and Faroki because I actually finished the, um, the Fennekin line. So the Fennekin line is actually all done for me. Uh, I was able to finish it because when I uh, finally hatched my shiny fe Fennekin uh, ages and ages ago, I just, I was so in love with it that I just, I just couldn't, couldn't imagine not having it, uh, not having it, 
stay a Fennekin. He, it was just so beautiful and it had a magician in it. It was a little boy. So I just, I just think that uh, I'm, I'm too in love or, or sorry, or sorry, I was too in love to, to change it. Um, so that's, uh, that's an interesting tidbit of information. So I'd only be able to soft reset for a uh, Chaspin or a Faroki. And I just feel like if I have the chance to hatch a shiny Faroki, um, that is, that could possibly be a six IV Pokemon. Um, that would be great because I would totally end up with another shiny Greninja because my first shiny Greninja uh, only had four IVs, so I can't, I couldn't use it competitively because it was missing one of the ones I really needed. Um, so it would be, I, I would have to like rebreed for IVs. So I just think that since I use Faroki, I know that, I know that Chespin can be really, uh, Chestnut can be really, really good competitively, but I just think that I'd like to breed another Faroki more than I would uh, a Fennekin. So there you go. That's We only have five levels left on that Wailord. I'm pretty, as I said, I'm pretty sure it evolves at level 40. I mean, we're going to find out, but uh, yeah, Cooper is trying to evolve. Cooper's always trying to evolve. Again, I have a lot of people ask me why I'm not letting Cooper evolve. It is because I am going for my living shiny Adex, and that is he's my zigzagoon he's my he's my zigzagoon that's for sure so let's go oh wait i'm going under watch i'll end up getting lost anyway yeah i want to battle everybody in here because again i'm trying to evolve well whale, whalemer so it doesn't make sense to skip anyone it makes sense to uh you know battle battle everybody when you're trying to evolve something so Definitely having the other DS do, uh, do the evolution. Yeah, it definitely is forty. I just uh, quickly looked it up. Having having another not do the evolution. Having another DS putting on the XP power really really helps the situation. Like I have to, I have to admit. Um, I mean, I you can run out of um, the XP power PP, but if you're doing what I'm doing, you can actually just use it and then turn off your DS and then use it again. So you are fairy typing, so I'm just gonna use Psycho Cut. Ah, I bet you guys thought I'd forget that. I bet there was people out there going, oh, Pinko's gonna fail. She's just gonna use her, her dark Pokemon, but don't worry, I remembered. I remembered, I got my back. Um, so I'm gonna, again, switch Pokemon out, throw in this Whalmer, let's get some levels on it. Let's get this up to a giant purple, like so ginormous, like flying blimp. Because like part of me thinks that maybe I should call it blimp. It is the float whale Pokemon. So that's interesting. Um, so let's go ahead ooh, and go to Castellian. So it's it's just crazy, the, the float whale Pokemon. Like it's just such a... It's such a funny looking Pokemon, and I like how they made it um, the, a Pokemon that you need to have on your party uh, to to unlock the Reggies. Like, it, they were just like, look at our design, you need to use us, um, which I just think is the funniest thing. Like, why, why that Pokemon? Who knows? Like, why why that and Relicant? Relicant, I guess, makes sense because it's a little bit of like an ancient Pokemon, so maybe. But here we go. Here we go, indeed. All right, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna walk back here. Yeah, I guess I can't. I can only go by these things. So now I'm gonna go across. I'm glad that I battled uh, that I battled her. So now we've got this girl to go. All these creepy, creepy ladies, creepy ladies. All of them. So continuing, continuing my rambling, which I feel that if you actually watch this whole video of getting the badge and evolving this Pokemon, you're just pretty use like you probably watched my other videos with um with the with the like when I get the badges and I I, I tend to just ramble in them. Uh, I feel like this is the time where I can talk to you, and I am hoping that um, when I do the walk, like, I'm hoping that you guys like me rambling, because when I do uh, my first walkthrough, it will be very similar to this, but only in probably 10, 15 minute intervals uh, of video. So it's, uh, 
it will be quite hilarious uh, to watch. I, I imagine I've never actually done a walkthrough before, but clearly I'm very good at talking. If you've ever, if you've ever seen me do like a two hour long Twitch stream without, without stopping, I do always have those awkward pauses and it's usually because I'm thinking about something in my head that I didn't, um, that I'm not articulating out loud. So that is always a, always a little thing I, I have a bit of trouble with. Um, Cause sometimes Sometimes I'm I'm setting up another thing to say in my mind and I don't actually articulate it out loud. I think that might be a problem with a lot of a lot of people who who don't use like you know it's not scripted, right? So so there's a lot of things that I don't actually say. But I really do feel like when I'm making a video like this, I'm actually talking to you and 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 sharing it. And I did uh, opt for with for a like to not do face cam for this video because I, I did know it would be a little bit longer um, and I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, if I do have to like run away for a second, you're not just looking at the the massive, massive world of baby toys behind me. Um, that was, it's really nice to actually get to uh, experience different thing, uh, dif uh, different kind of ways that I'm doing my videos. I mean, uh, I, I think as a channel, I'm I'm growing. Uh, I'm learning different things, and I'm I'm definitely definitely having a lot of fun fun doing it. And and you guys are getting to experience like just be in my life a little bit more. And and I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. So I've been doing this for almost a year and a half. It'll be a year and a half next month. It'll be uh, pretty. It's pretty interesting because. It's so easy for me to know exactly what I'm, uh, exactly the time frame in which I started this because of how old my kids are. I don't think I would have ever taken on something like uh, a YouTube stream if it wasn't if it wasn't for having having my beautiful children and and being able to stay home and play Pokemon. So that's that's just a a fun thing. So yay! I wish they gave me more than a thousand dollars. Damn my amulet coin for not being here. You failed me, amulet coin. All right, so I feel like I was, I oh, I have to go all the way around again. Rah. Pango done goofed. I think I go this way. Oh, no, I did it right. Yay. All right, so let's take on these hilarious girls. These twins. Doo, doo, doo. It's all epic going up to them. And very dramatic. Hee hee hee, were you surprised? Tee hee hee, were you surprised? There are two gym leaders that there are two gym leaders. We're twins, we're twins. You don't need to talk because, or we can tell what each other is thinking. All in our minds. The combination of ours. Can you beat it? Well, yes, I can, because you're actually terribly easy gym leaders, which is really disappointing, because you should be harder. Yay! Just a side note on how disappointed I am that Liza and Tate are not harder to beat. But here we go. Let's take on these twins. Yay! With their Lunatone and their Soul Rock. What a whalmer. Oh, you best be believing I'm not actually using you. Hopefully you'll get two levels in this battle and it will be very cool. So let's put out Rover and Castell and let's just let's just do this. Let's just get them done. I'm I'm really disappointed that I mean I suppose they were easy in the original. I haven't played it in so long I don't actually remember. Um but I just feel like like there needed to be a challenge mode or something or rebattle of these gym leaders, like something just to make up for it. I do notice that my camera is getting a little bit fuzzy, so I am gonna go ahead and autofocus it here. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, so there we go. Wilmer go to level 39, so we just need Wilmer to go up one more level and hopefully we'll get that last level. Otherwise we can always use your candy at the end. So I'm not uh, um, scared in the least of this Lunatone. Uh, as I said, I, this this battle was pretty much going to be a wash no matter how I did it because, uh, like, my, well, for one thing, my Pokemon are such high levels, but for another, like, they're just easy gym leaders. 
There should have been four Pokemon, I feel. Oh, there you go. Whalmer. Whalmer really wanted to, like, evolve for us. And Cooper's also going to try to evolve again. I do have the experience share on because I did, I did, even though I was over leveling a couple, I just wanted them to be a little bit more. $10,000 isn't bad. Spending all my money on max repels and Pokeballs. So what? Whalmer is evolving. That's exactly what we wanted, Whalmer. Good job. Let's get our shiny whale lord. And that officially completes that line. We are at 363. Got to update that. Oh, look at how big it is. It's so big. All right. So big. Okay. And we're going to say no to Cooper evolving. And that is great. Uh, so, and we're just at the end of the Dora episode as well. So I can tell that this video lasted exactly 20 minutes. It can't be helped. You've won. Yay, we got this. Look at that beautiful pink badge. It is epically amazing. Epically amazing it is. I am so happy to see that badge. It is awesome. So... Yeah, look at that, the Mind Badge. The Mind Badge makes Pokemon up to level 80 obey you, including those you receive from other people. I Okay, like, does my Pokemon actually stop obeying me? Because I'm wondering if the Pokemon I've actually caught do st stop obeying me or something. Because I, I don't think that's actually the case. So, yay! Calm mind. That is great. I'm not reading anything because, as I said, that Dora episode did end, and I do have to go hang out with my kids. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate the support in this shiny playthrough. Uh, or, sorry, shiny route quest. I'm trying to call it a shiny route quest now. That's the name I've decided on. Uh, my hours are at 448 hours with seven badges, and I think I've done a fantastic job up to this point. Um, I did save twice because I just thought it was uh, a good thing to do. Um, it looks like a little uh, toddler panko is distracted temporarily again. So I'm just going to pop into this and show you this beautiful whale lord. Uh, whale, whale lord whalmer. So we do have the appearance, just to show you one more time, of this, of this beautiful ball. Like we saw in the last one. And then the even more beautiful giant whale because look at that i love the little spots on him imagine that in black too like floating by in that in that aquarium imagine if it was giant and purple that would just be amazing so i do need names for these two beautiful pokemon so uh do keep that in mind um to give that give those names to me thank you for all of your support don't forget to like subscribe comment follow me on twitter and follow me on twitch and i hope all of your pokemon shine